I guess we're just going upstairs. Locked with a code. We'll need a way through. Maybe there's something on these consoles. Yeah, sure, you, Jack. Oh, convenient. Almost like Laundra's here listening to us. Looks like we can access the hologram from here. Huh, there's data here. Let me see what I can access. A lot is corrupted, but it looks like some logs survived. I might be able to play them. I found Evelyn in the control room, booting through the logs for Laundra's passcode. Not sure how she got past security, but yeah. She's not doing so good. Just kept banging on Londra's door, begging him to save her. I told her he was gone, but she just kept wailing. They had to drag her out. That was the last recording. Everything else is from before 2065. How many logs did you find? Three. No, four. Four entries, four digits. The recording said this Evelyn was looking in the data for the code. Let's try to find it. Wasn't Evelyn his okay. wife? That's fucking sad. That looks like that unlocked another console. I guess he left his wife here. Maybe check that other console. This display is an archive for Laundra's asteroid missions over the years. It looks like I can navigate it with my focus, so I'm not tied to the console. Okay, playing the first log. Uploading it to your focus too for reference. 2050. A year of triumph. That first mission silenced a thousand naysayers. When we acquired the asteroid, they held their breath. When we returned with the wealth of planets, they came crawling, hats in hand. Ah, that flight will always be dear to me. And to history. He wouldn't make his- See those rocks floating around the Earth? I see data on them with the focus. He wouldn't make his password 2050, right? That'd be ridiculous. Open last log. Okay, that's the one we just heard, and then we have this. Nope, still the same. Oh, here we go. This Asteroid is the, the log mentioned, but there are two numbers. Which one is for the code? He mentioned the flight. It sounded like it was pretty special for him. Must be the flight number then. Yeah, that could be the first digit of the code. Not a bad start. Let me know when you're ready to hear the next log. Well, let's see. Uh, there's two numbers highlighted green. I'm just going to go ahead and assume that those are relevant. Uh, first successful mission. Transfer the asteroid to Earth's orbit and harvested 4,000 tons of precious ores. A landmark for the company and the world. The promise of the heavens delivered. I mean, besides the fact that Laundra's a complete fucking asshole, it is nice to see what he's, he's essentially the first person to bring an asteroid uh, to Earth for mining. And that is a massive accomplishment. Like that is, that is something like Let praiseworthy. Let me know when you're ready to hear the next vlog. Okay, let's hear the next one. Accessing it now. I've convinced the board the amount of platinum on that rock is worth the risk. Once we grab it, I'll make Evelyn a platinum ring so she can wear our success wherever she goes. What a great guy. No year in this log, just a mention of platinum. All right, let's look around then. Uh. Asteroid Prospero, our second successful acquisition. A mid-sized asteroid with massive amounts of cobalt, among other ores. Could bring in as much as 7 trillion USD if we can efficiently excavate all its minerals. Hmm. Is there basically just like one rock per year to look around for? Here we go. Data in that one. Hotspur. Quite the bounty. We, a uh, sizable rock dense with lithium. 
We already have six of the largest battery manufacturers lined up for contracts. It's seven six. One of these asteroids must have had platinum. But yeah, I'm expecting right. that's what Keep we're looking scanning for. scanning till we find it. Oh, platinum. This must be the right mission. But which number? Not sure. I'll replay the audio log. I've convinced the board the amount of platinum on that rock is worth the risk. Once we grab it, I'll make Evelyn a platinum ring so she can wear our success wherever she goes. Hmm. Don't think it's the flight number this time. Yeah. The log mentioned the amount of platinum. Figure it out? Well, then it would be two. So. <laughs> Let me it know when you're two ready for the third one. Million tons. Ready. Okay, here it comes. Uh, the accident has disturbed the ants. Lawyers and publicists swarming to do damage control, carping about incalculable losses. Now what they don't see is that each death is a lesson in complacency, inspiring us to future excellence. He doesn't see his workers as people, does he? <laughs> no. Of course not. I wonder how much damage he did to the Earth before Pharaoh. Like, in terms of just to people. He was working people to death now. He was probably doing it back then as well. Uh, One of the biggest rocks we've brought up... Uh, we've brought home with our best haul of Iridium. Up to 7,000 tons. Jalu Lunar Resources has spun up a PR campaign against us, highlighting the risk the asteroid might break up in orbit. A desperate move from a competitor, competitor on the ropes. Sounds like maybe the next year it breaks up? No? It's corrupted. On to the next. Uh, Titania. The legal wrangling over claims to Titania is finally settled. We had to hire lawyers from six different firms, but the asteroid's high concentration of palladium and osmium will more than cover the fees. There's no mention of year or metal. We're looking for an accident involving miners. No data. That l uh, no. Cornucopia of pure nickel, gold, and iron, but the real prize is a thousand ton of a uh, deposit of ruthenium. Solar cell manufacturers will be elbowing each other out of the way as they line up for contracts. This Cal one mentions miners. Caliban. Eight people lost their lives and Laundra shrugged it off like it was nothing? I'll leave it to you to pick the right number. Well, it's well, HMC5. Just one more to find. Guess we'll know for sure when we plug them all in. Eight ready miners. For the next log. Would he even care about the people though? We'll see. Uh, high density of rhodidium and other rare minerals made it this rock a must-have, but an accident during the orbital excavation phase killed eight miners, causing an international uproar. A settlement deal has been struck with the families of the decreased, or the, sorry, the deceased. The price of progress. Ugh. Let's hear it. Playing it now. My chief competitor tried to block me in Congress, but I'll have that cobalt no matter how many years it takes to dig out. Jalu Lunar Resources can stay on the moon. Everything else belongs to me. Okay, I think I know what to look for. All right, one second. There, I uploaded the last of the logs to your focus. Thanks. As soon as I find the last number, I'll enter the full code upstairs. There's nothing on that one. The fourth log mentioned both Cobalt and the Jalu Lunar Company. So we need a mission log with both. Yep. It might be one of the ones from before. But it could be further up. Asteroid Falstaff. Uh, the pure ore on Falstaff should enable us to process enough gallium to supply the semiconductor industry for years. Regulators have flagged it for exceeding orbital size limits, but by our measurements, it's only about 5% over, so this should be mild. Oh boy. A valuable acquisition with an unusually high density of chromium. Feral Automated Solutions has already negotiated an exclusive three year deal. Paid up front. I'm always happy to take Ted's money, that's for sure. And then 2065 is the last year. Can't imagine they had in that one. anything useful. The fourth log mentioned both Cobalt and the Xiaolu Lunar Company. So we need a mission log with both. Yep. Uh, this one sounds about right. 
Jal Lunar Resources rages on, but in the end, our lobbying efforts will win out due to the asteroid's internal structure and the presence of many high-density ores. Productions indicate it could take five years to strip out all its cobalt. So, uh... I guess let's try this code. This will be interesting. Okay, so we're starting off with three... Two... Eight miners... Wow. Five cobalt. You actually did it. Wow. He did care about the miners enough to use their deaths as his passcode. This must have been Londra's living quarters. Right at the center of where he worked. Let's see what we can find. That relic. Is it some sort of old gun? Ah, uh, it might be a toy. A gift from a so-called friend. A reminder to always watch your back. I wonder what that's about. Uh, what's this for? Uh, I think it's just to look fancy. It's some kind of award, I think. Landra's wife was pretty well known in her time. Strange he'd keep this around. Sounded like they weren't on the best of terms at the end. Love can make it hard to let go. Yeah, I mean, considering that he kept this poster, it's, that's probably of his wife's movie. Sorry, Sega. Pangea, Evelyn Day. Huh. Well, let's look at that notebook. It says it's from Jack. Wasn't Jack one of the... Far Zenith guys? No, this is Eric. Okay. Who the fuck is Jack? Data points. Burning Shores. From Jack. Here we go. Walter, my contact in Bots uh, Botswana says black rhino numbers are approaching the threshold. The regs are trying to keep it hushed, so we've got first dibs as soon as light's green. Wanted to give you this. T I wanted to give this to you in person, but Evelyn's got an early call on set. Don't worry, all seems above board with her co-star so far. But I'll keep a close eye on her. Happy birthday, man! Huh. Well, there's a couple of things to unpack in there. Uh, I guess it sounds like Walt. Or it sounds like Landra was a poacher or like hunted hunted endangered animals for sport and then second his wife potentially was cheating on him with his with her co-star or maybe with Jack That's why it's like, always watch your back, because I'm watching your wife's back. <laughs> oh, a little treadmill. He has a little display. There is remarkably sparse room for a billion a trillionaire. Security logs for the facility. That's a recent entry. Whoa! I'm Jesus. growing impatient, Nova. Data retrieval is almost complete. I've primed the North Array for beamcast. Oh, an AI. You're requiring everything from aeronautics and special ops, yes, including the files on MSP. Correct. There. Ready for transmission. It's a shame we have to revive that particular program, though. <sighs> no fine. Darling, we have a very difficult task ahead of us. We can't afford to go soft. Uh, reduce your empathy matrix by 15%, please. Adjusted. Wonderful. Oh my god. I'm transmit the files immediately so we can get the hell out of here. This place feels like a goddamn tomb. What was all that about? The North Array sounds like a transmitter. If we can find it, maybe we can track Landra to whatever hole he crawled into. Sure. But 
What did he come back for? I'll explain later. Let's find a way out. Okay. But I'll hold you to that. Don't worry. We love explaining everything. Data point. <laughs> the empathy. That's very, very interesting, though. New AI to deal with. Potentially two. Maybe we can get the help of Nova. Wouldn't that be nice? Prospero Incident. Uh, members of a Splinter Cell, possibly an offshoot of the defunct Purity Action Europe group. They had operatives among the miners, along with a shuttle pilot. All were eliminated while attempting to disable our automated defenses. But I hate to think of what might have happened if they had managed to destabilize Prospero's orbit. Simulations show that they could have successfully targeted Oslo, Copenhagen, or Stockholm. We obviously need additional protection, so maybe it's time to take another look at MSP. Please send me everything you have on the last set of trials, including the data corrupted. Jesus, somebody tried to fucking... Someone tried to Gundam Earth. <laughs> they, they tried to drop an asteroid on... On the planet. What the fuck? That's, uh, I think that's a little too extreme. That could have caused some massive damage. I'm glad they stopped that. Jesus. Alright. Okay, Whoa. the transmitter should be somewhere nearby. That big statue looks promising. Those machines are in our way. We've gotta clear them out. Oh boy. They all have to be Apex creatures. Time oh shit! Uh, I can melee you back, punk! Ah! Oh my god, they're fucking bombing me! What are you even weak against? Ice? Oh. I got you. It's we can hit it off. Don't worry, that's the plan. Hey! A Glidhawk! You you don't fit in here! You've got such a ever increasing variety of flying machines for us to take on. Jesus. See what we got here to mess up. Alright. That's not good. That was an accident. Oh my god. Works for me. How many more targets do we have out there? Fuck, the thermal off draft is blocking that. Laser. Oh, okay, all right. No, go back to the laser. 
You're fucking sending. You're sending Sudwings after us. Ow! Jesus! What the fuck even happened? I mean, I do. What the? Hey, no shields. I don't actually. They never do. Ah! No! 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 No more plasma, please. I'm shooting your mohawk off. Ha! Now what are you gonna do? All the other Sunwings are gonna judge you. You should feel bad because you look bad. Ah! Ah! I'm sorry. You're right. Just because you. You lost your mohawk doesn't mean you're less cool than everybody else. But it does mean you're dead. Uh, excuse you? What the hell kind of maneuver was that? I think that's the last of them. Now let's take a look at that statue. That thing better have answers. <sighs> This place was stacked with enemies, golly. Well, I've got 10 skill points, so I, I can uh, look at things now. And we got access to flying way faster than I thought, so I guess we can... figure out some abilities here. Uh, gain the ability to grapple launch from flying mounts. I wanted the other melee ability as well. Warrior's Instinct. I don't want to know what it means by when it says by attaching elemental capsules from your hunter's kit. It sounds kind of cool. Gain health from damage dealt with either weapon type. I didn't like consciously register that part last time. That does sound kind of cool. Uh, but we'll we'll get this glide targeting. I don't know what the fuck a Spectre Gauntlet is. Um, <laughs> but it looked cool the last time we looked at this. Mm, okay, I can get two more skills. I don't think I'm going to use any of the new Valor Surges, but like... If they give us enough points, maybe I will try one of them. I'll grab that elemental damage spear thing. Maybe we can try it out. And then... Low health stamina probably is the one for me. Although overriding a machine instantly energizes your spear for a resonator blast isn't too bad either, but I don't think I'm going to use that too much. Whereas low health stamina could actually help us out in like the, the potential two seconds I have below 25 HP and don't panic and heal myself immediately, right? Recipe discovered. Frost caps. Oh, I have to make these things? Ah, shit. Look at this. It's just more shit to have at the bottom of our screen. Do they have a timer on them? They do. Fuck! But I like elemental melee damage. That sounds exciting.
that looks like it could transmit data. What do we got here? Looks like this is part of a transmitter. Okay, Mondra. Where are you hiding? Got you. The data was sent to a location west of here. Data on what? Uh, I guess we'll tell what her. What was going on in that hologram back there? And why exactly did Londra come here? And what is he doing with my people? He used them to dig up this place to find some old data. Part of it has to do with something called MSP, which I've never heard of before, but the rest... I think he's trying to build a ship to get off this world and into the stars. Off this world? Why would anyone want to do that? There is something you're not telling me. Oh, you're just like a diviner, full of secrets. Oh yeah? Well, what about you? The way you reacted to that mural back in the ruin? Care to explain? Fine. I guess we'll both hold our tongues for now. <laughs> All right, look. The important thing is that we know where Londra went, and that's probably where he took your people. And your sister. You're right, of course. I should report back to the Admiral before we go any further. I'll use the boat we saw from the air to return. Okay, I'll find you there later. You don't want to ride on the Sunwing with me anymore? We're, we're, we're mad at each other? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't tell you that the world is potentially gonna fucking end for a second time. Did I level up again? Holy fucking shit. I walked two feet. <laughs> you know, like, wowie. <laughs> Woo, mission progresses. Leveled up two times in the span of, like, a 50-foot walk. Sega was really fired up. Telling her about Nemesis. I... I can't do that to her. Not now. Not when she's worried about her sister. It's too much of a burden. Right? For now, maybe I should focus on stopping up. I think we need Seiko when it's time to pick up the Hunter's Trail. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We we could just tell her, like, part of the truth without going overboard. We could just tell her that there's, like, another machine coming in from space. It's dangerous, and he's trying to leave before it gets here. We don't have to tell her all the details of how the, you know, far zenith made it. It's an, a com you know... It's an AI of all of their minds put together, whatever the fuck that's gonna mean. <laughs> you, you know, we'll, we'll see how the writers make that, uh, get handled. Like, we don't gotta set her off on, like, the super panic, but at the same time, we could give her that information, big info, Maybe she'll realize that she shouldn't ask questions she doesn't actually want the answers to. But I'm sure we'll tell her eventually. You know, that's the thing. It's like, she'll learn. Hopefully. Hmm. That feels like there's something over there. That feels like it could potentially lead to a vault or something. What, 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 whatever those, uh, the furnaces, the, the machine creation places were called. Cauldrons, there we go. Uh, but right, hold on. We, we got a level. I might as well put it into a skill. We 
do sometimes override machines, so that one's pretty good. I like the sound of the last part of this. Deal more damage when your spear is fully charged. But I don't, like, consistently remember how to charge up my spear in a good way, so I don't really know how much we're going to use that. Also, what am I doing? <laughs> I can fly! Oh, shit! Whoa! No, 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 no. I mean, that's like something I can handle, but I just didn't expect it here. Jesus. Well, that was so hidden. Holy fuck, what a tactically placed tree. It's not a Apex Lither Fang. You continue, you'll fly to no man's land? Really? Wait, so I can actually, like, leave here and come back? Oh, shit. That's cool. I just thought I was stuck in this place until we beat the DLC. Which, like, I'm fine with. But it is nice that all I have to do... to get out of here is fly to the border of the map. Also, I wonder how much time has passed since, uh, the events of Forbidden West. Did we have a legit year pass in canon? Or is this just like, you know, eh, a week after everything happened with Far Zenith, we decided to fly out. Passive ammo could help here. Oh, wait, let's try this thing out. Grab cargo container. Drop cargo container. Did that open it? It did. Ooh, that's a lot of volatile sludge. I like that. Stuff for the stash. Those frost bellowbacks? Yes, they are. Uh, maybe do a better job. Are they burning? Machines are hitting the lava with chill water. Terraforming the land. Or trying to, anyway. That's cool! <laughs> I like that detail. to the west. West is that way. Does that mean he went this way or does or maybe I'm getting things mixed up in terms of information. This area certainly feels like maybe Laundra went out this way. How pretty the water is down there. You know, <laughs> it's really amusing. Uh, oh, a Delver's camp. Oh, shit. I'll have to check that out in a second. But uh, if there's a. There was an amusing. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh! It's Jurassic Park! Oh my god! I might be getting too close to the tower. Better steer clear. What tower? Ah! I guess that tower! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Well... 
I think that makes it fairly obvious where uh, Laundry is, huh? I was right in that he was in that direction. I just didn't think it was going to be a dinosaur-themed holographic park. Jesus. Uh, what I was going to say is there's a bit of, there's a controversy um, where people were saying Duh, the game they were seeing images of Horizon Forbidden West burning shore. They're like, there's no way the game could possibly look that good. It has to be just a pre-rendered uh, cinematic cutscene. And that's just so funny to me. Because obviously, like, Forbidden West just existed already before Burning Shore, and that was already a pretty good-looking game. And then Horizon Zero Dawn also looks gorgeous. When, you know, when that came out on, like, the PlayStation 4. And obviously it's on PC as well now, so, like, you can look even better there. So that's just a funny controversy, especially because, like, it was then also compared to, like, Breath of the Wild. And I was just thinking, man, I actually really do wish that Breath of the Wild looked like this fucking good. Like, keep the stylization, obviously, but then combine the stylization with crazy, ridiculous graphic. These fuckers are camping my cargo! <laughs> I under estimated how long it would take to pull out my chute because uh, I was trying out the new slow down time while jumping yeah. off the back ability might have come here to delve oh the machines got to them oh damn I thought we were gonna deal with some alive Oserum. but apparently not that's a shame Well, they won't be needing these, I suppose. That is indeed a corpse. A new agreement. A non-standard delving contract written in a barely legible hand and heavily smeared in ink. God, I hate when they do this shit. Okay. After the death of Cap, camp guards, both the purpose and plunder of the caravan have been renegotiated. The Tinburn brothers forfeit their claim because Brimshine before Captain died. In exchange, the rest of the crew agreed to stay in the Burning Shores to help their brothers find Blank. And the direction and uh, the directions to his burial site are to Blank distributed between the crew X the Ten Burns. 3B. Each crew member will keep their direction secret. Any Brimshine found in the Blank distributed among the co-signees, half will go to the Ten Burns. Blank Burns will lead the group to Blank. Signed in Spit and Blank. Okay, they're hiding Brimshine amongst all of them or something. Oh, hey, the boat. <laughs> you know, if you want to go around this place in a different kind of style. Let's do a little bit of a save here. Let's see. My last manual save was May 2nd, 2022. So we'll go here. Oh! <laughs> 